Tamam. I guess the focus is on not focusing. <laughs> When I'm on, I'm on, and, and weekend shows and teaching seminars and teaching classes, it's all pretty intense, and you're dealing with different personalities and, and, uh, and trying to get a lot done. So it, it is very, I almost say draining. Uh, it's, it's a lot of energy. I love it. Let's get that clear. I love it. But it is tiring. And uh, so I try to, when I have a moment to hang out with my parents or, or sit by a fire or bring the dogs to the lakes, as best as I can, switch off. So we're out in uh, beautiful Blessington Lakes. It's um, scanning around the moment, you'll see it's, it's pretty much empty. A few guys fishing down the end. And uh, I suppose the obvious question is why you come out here, but if you look around, my question would be why not? It's absolutely gorgeous. Kira loves swimming. Falco, he's not as big into the swimming, but he has a, he can explore and, and float around. And uh, it's nice to just come here and, and switch off for a bit and uh, just listen to silence. Would you say nature is a big part of your life? I try to make it as much as I can. That's why I live a little bit outside the, outside the city. Mm. And um, yeah, I definitely like peace and quiet over mm. bustling and, and busy. My Saturday nights, as you experienced, they're pretty hectic, emotional and fighting, aggressive, and whatever else, competitive, whatever else goes with that. So to have the, the yin and the yang is, is uh, I think, good for anybody's mental health. I know it's good for me. So poor Kira has damaged her front right paw, so she's at the hospital here to get a look at. She did her left front paw a couple of months ago. So I presume it will be the same um, diagnosis and yeah. get her fixed up. You can see there's quite red on the inside oh, of yeah. that toe. But the whole toe is swollen. Like it should be the same kind of size oh, as this toe right. here. It is actually very, very swollen and good mm. for her. What field did you say she I would say probably a barrier or a fence, yeah. and then there's cows in the next field, so. Okay, good. Mischief, mischief, I'd say, is the center. Okay. Food. Yeah. Um, this one here is your antibiotic, and it's one and a half tablets once a day. I think so with you. Go on in two seconds. Out of round. Jason here keeps my head somewhat symmetrical. So we have a talk on tomorrow. I want to look a little bit sharper than a hobo or whatever the hell I Yeah, yeah, a couple of hours every week, you know, go to the local with, with, with my dad, my mom and dad, have a few drinks, and then and, uh, it's almost always the same conversation. We talk about the old days, and that's not really the point. The point is just being in each other's company. I'm very lucky to have my parents as being close friends. I value all our time that we have together. I know it's not forever. Nobody likes thinking about that, talking about that, but it's a reality. And I don't want to be 
in a situation when when the time comes I'm like oh why didn't I do this and I was always too busy I never made time so I don't do that I do make time I do take advantage of any time I can to be in their company and um, it's, it's yeah it's family <laughs> I think friendship is something that you should really appreciate and devote time to it sadly not everybody is born into a family that they're going to get on with you know we this just happens it was something like a, some quote that God gave us friends as an apology for family um, so if your family is not your friends well you know you can make friends a lot of people around but if you do have good friends make time for them you know it's not always easy and it's it's easy to come up with excuses as to why to not see somebody and you're busy with this but make that make that couple of hours a week it's very very important I think it's again coming back to this I need mental health and being able to switch off and just going for a walk with your friend or whatever it is you like to do and just talking nonsense doesn't matter what it is I think that's very healthy and very rewarding so it's important now the the omnipresent phone is always there and you know I can't help but go in and check the the ever-growing email and whatsapp list and Instagram messages and so on but I'm getting better at trying to at least give to have certain amounts of time where I'm not doing that probably an area I need to work on a bit more but yeah the focus is on is on no focus just going into a stupor staring at a fire or uh, throwing a stick for Kira and running after Valco uh, just a yin and yang you know because the intensity of of coaching and dealing with professional fighters and my new gym being currently being built and deals to go around that it's full on so it's good that it's good to have the switch